to do a pre-flight inspection for a Cessna 172. I'm going to start out here in the cabin. First, I'm going to make sure the control lock is removed from the yoke, moving freely. Then I'm going to check that the ignition is in the off position, which it is. Then I'm going to turn the master switch on, lower my flaps one notch, I want to check my fuel gauges and then turn my master switch back off. <laughs> Next, I'm going to move to the back of the plane. Well, first, I'm going to do the baggage door just to make sure anything in there is secure, not moving around too much. and. Make sure the door latches properly. The rudder gust lock has already been removed. As you can see, it moves freely. I want to disconnect the tail tie down now in the back. Next, I want to check the control services here. The elevator to make sure it's moving freely. Checking for any missing nuts or bolts on the hinges here. Same thing on the right side. Checking for any missing nuts or bolts here. And moving the control arm which is underneath here. Give it a little bit of a wiggle here to make sure it's not locked up tight. And also checking this trim tab to make sure it's not moving freely and that everything here is in, in place with the cotter key and nut and bolt. Next I'm going to check that three hinges here are nut and bolt in here on the rudder. Then go to the two cables, one on each side here of the rudder. Make sure they are secured properly and have a cotter key with nut and bolt on each side. Next, check for this cable here and make sure it's secured properly. Lastly, I'm going to run my hand along the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer to make sure there's no cracks or nicks. And also to make sure the beacon on top is intact and not broken and the antennas are there also. Checking for the antenna here, intact, on top also. So now I'm going to move on to the right wing trailing edge. And I'm going to check the aileron first. Got to make sure that the ailerons on each wing move in opposite directions. Very freely. I'm going to go underneath here, check they're connected properly. The hinge here should have a pin in it. There should be three counterweights here on the aileron. A push rod here should move slightly. Another hinge with the pin in it. And the last hinge here. And we're checking the flaps. They should not move freely like the aileron. Checking that nuts and bolts are on the tracks here. Push rod is slightly movable. And the same over here. I'm going to check the fuel sump valve now by taking a fuel sample from the right wing to check for sediment, the blue color for the correct fuel type, or any water. You see it's blue, no water or sediment in there. Okay, now I'm going to check the tire here. It's a little bit low, but 
Just make sure it's inflated properly. Make sure the cotter key is here to hold the wheel on. Check in your entire brake assembly and for any fluid or leakage beneath the brakes. Check in the wing strut to make sure it's secured. And removing the wing tie down. Okay, next I'm going to check the fuel level on the right wing visually. Remove the cap, take a look inside so just to verify that you do indeed have fuel. Then you put the cap back on, twist it in the orientation to where it has, it has the line parallel with the plane. Next. I'm going to check the fuel for the oil. You must have at least four quarts of oil for flight. A little under four quarts, so I'd have to add a quart there before I went out flying. Put the dipstick back in. Screw the cap back on. While you're in here, you pull the fuel strainer valve for about four seconds just to clear out any water or sediment in the fuel system. Okay, now on to the, to the nose of the plane. I'm going to check the prop for any nicks or cracks. And also the spinner to make sure it's secured and not dented. Check the two landing lights here on the front so that they're intact. Check the air filter for any debris or buildup or anything blocking it. Check the air inlets in the engine here for any foreign objects inside. And also check the belt here so it's tight. We're gonna check the nose wheel to make sure it's properly inflated. It has a cotter key here holding the wheel on. The two control arms have slight movement, have nuts and bolts and cotter keys there, and we have proper room here between the strut for movement. And also you need to check the static vent here, make sure it's clear of any debris or anything. Check the holes here for any the air vents for any debris. Same as over there. I'm gonna check the visual level of the fuel on the left wing now. Same thing as other side, just look inside for the fuel level yourself and then put the cap back on so it's turned parallel with the plane. Check that the pitot tube cover has been removed, which it is. Look inside the hole the best you can. Make sure there's no debris or sediment inside. And here's your fuel vent, fuel tank vent right here. Make sure there's nothing clogging it up either. Make sure there's nothing clogging off the stall horn opening. And I'm going to remove the tie down here on the wing. I'm going to check the fuel sock valve again on this wing for water or sediment and the correct fuel type. It looks blue and no water or sediment in it, so it's good. Okay, next, I'm going to check this wheel. Make sure the tire is inflated properly, a cotter keyer here holding the wheel on. Make sure there's no brake fluid leakage pulled up on the bottom. 
making sure that the brake assembly is intact and secured and that the wing strut here is also secured. I'm going to rub my hand along the leading edge of this wing, also checking for any nicks or cracks, checking for the strobe and navigation light. Same thing is over there. I'm going to check the ailerons again on this side, making sure it's in opposite directions, moving freely. And going underneath here, check for a hinge here, three counterweights, a pin in the hinge. Moving this push rod with your fingers so it moves slightly. And checking this hinge here with the pin in it. Then making sure the flap is not moving freely. Has nuts and bolts in place on the tracks here. The push rod is a little loose and the track over here is secured also. Okay, I think that's it.